what's going on guys? David and I are back with another video and I'm really excited about this video. If any of you guys know me really well, you know that I'm really into sneakers. Um, and just to kind of show you a little bit of my sneaker collection, I think I have, I think I have almost over like 30 pairs, but uh, I have some of my favorites here um, that I can show you. So let's take a look at some of my favorites real, real, real quick, real quick. Super Bowl Silver Pack Pure Boost. Ultra Boost 3.0 Parley Coral Bleaching. Ultra Boost 3.0 Triple White. Ultra Boost 3.0 Parley. Ultra Boost 3.0 Multicolor Summer of 2017. Zebra or Oreo, whichever you prefer. Triple Black. Be True Nike Flyknit Racer. Nike Air Vapor Max Asphalt. Pure Platinum or Triple White. Triple Black. Those are just some of my favorite pairs of sneakers. I definitely have more in my closet, but I know what you're probably thinking. Arian, your tech channel is about, you know, tech. Um, and yeah, we're getting to that. These shoes right here, are special and they're probably my favorite pair of shoes. Why? Because they incorporate the style of sneakers with technology. And that's what we're here to talk about. Let's get to it. These are the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Besides the shoes, you also get this box inside the box because Nike heard you like boxes, bro. So inside this tinier box, you have a wall adapter because these are electronic shoes, so you will have to charge them, obviously. And what else is inside here? It looks like you get, oh, these are, uh, these are charging pucks. They're like intricately, boxed in here. I don't want to mess this up. Oh, there you go. Okay. So yeah, they're wire charging pucks and it looks like, I wonder if you have to charge each shoe individually or, oh, nope. They both connect. So there's one USB port at the end of this cable and this little kind of centralized box over here. And then that centralized box leads to two different pucks. These will attach underneath the shoes in order to charge them. Now Nike claims that a charge will last about two weeks and the shoes take about three hours to charge. So three hours of charge every two weeks is actually not that bad. So in case you guys haven't figured out just by my description of how the shoes work, what makes the Hyper Adapt 1.0 super cool is that the shoes lace themselves. So let me go ahead and get the other shoe out. So there's a little blue plastic housing here down at the bottom of the shoe and inside there is a mechanism. Now inside the actual heel of the shoe is a pressure sensor. So when you step inside the shoe, the shoe senses your foot is in there. This mechanism starts turning and pulling on a series of cables that are attached to these laces and the shoes will electronically lace themselves without you having to touch them. Now the cool part about that is obviously you don't have to do anything about it, um, but there's also this natural question of, hey, what do I do if my shoes are too tight or too loose? Well, Nike has you covered on the little side over here on the, both shoes actually, there's a plus and a minus button. When the shoes are on, if you push and hold the plus button, the shoes will get tighter. If you push and hold the minus button, the shoes will get looser. So you can take them off or make them tighter whenever you please. So these shoes are really cool. 
and incredibly limited too. So the way you actually get these shoes is you have to enter a drawing on uh, Nike's sneakers application. And uh, if you're one of the lucky ones chosen to win the shoes, then you buy them and Nike ships them to you. Speaking of price, uh, <laughs> this is where things get a little interesting when it comes to the Hyper Adapt 1.0. Um, keep in mind these are incredibly limited guys and you know it is uh, one of those technologies where it's still in the uh, early phases of development so the cost of adoption for something like this is incredibly high you're looking at a retail price of seven hundred and twenty dollars now those of you out there who don't even want to spend hundred and fifty dollars on a pair of shoes you're probably flipping out right now wondering why in the world anyone would spend seven hundred and twenty dollars on a single pair of shoes um, the answer to that question is resale so if you manage to keep these in brand new condition, you can sell them for a minimum of $1,000. So if you're doing the math, that's at least a $250 profit. And that's at a minimum. You'll be hard pressed to find these shoes at $1,000. Um, I've seen some pairs go for $1,700, $1,800. Some pairs even go for over $2,000. So the reason why someone who's not into shoes would still want to get a hold of these is to flip them and make a ridiculous profit on them. The reason why I wanted to get them is because they are a technological marvel. Um, I think in the future, hopefully in the near future, Nike is going to start releasing a lot more uh, less expensive shoes that will lace themselves. And that is going to be completely epic because these, in my opinion, already look pretty good. Uh, and they already lace themselves. So if Nike finds a way to actually bring the price down, that would be incredible. Nike codenamed the shoes Earl, and that stands for Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. And uh, that's basically fancy for saying the shoes lace themselves. On the back of the shoe right here on the heel, you'll actually have a five dot battery indicator. Um, and the lights will change colors depending on the state of your battery. So if they're blue, you're good. You have a good enough charge. If they're yellow, you might want to start thinking about it. If they're red, they're basically dead. I made a rhyme. Uh, and then you put the shoes on charge. Like I said, full charge in three hours and one charge lasts you two weeks of lacing every day. So, incredible shoes, guys. Um, these are definitely not worth the money, though, if uh, you ask me. I'm not gonna encourage any of you guys to enter the drawing or even try and win these shoes uh, because $720 is ridiculous, but um, I love technology and I love you guys, so I figured this would be an incredible video. So now that we've talked about how the shoes work, let's get to a try-on, right, David? Try-on, let's, let's do it. Go. Alright guys, that just about does it for our video over the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Like I said, most definitely don't recommend buying the shoes because they are way too expensive. Um, but nonetheless, super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button down below. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. How mad would everyone get if we actually like played this whole thing through? Can you imagine?